Without a structure, without a plan, your consultation will be meh at best, which means you're not gonna be able to uh, afford to put food on the table. You're gonna have to sell the kids, sell the dogs. Selling the kids doesn't sound that bad, but why not just sell the consultation better? Five steps to having a better consultation. Number one, you gotta listen. This is, this is an ear, by the way. Hey, read your consultation form, got your consult, but why don't you tell me in your own words what's going on? That's how I started. Because the people need a chance to vent. If I just go in and start talking about me and mine, not as, not as ideal. I want to get it off their chest. And remember, we only have a certain amount of time. So you can say that at the beginning to say, hey, we've got about 25 minutes for this consultation and uh, I got your form. Why don't you tell me uh, in a few words what's going on, what, what you're struggling with. And then listen, genuinely listen to their problems. Don't be rereading the form that you didn't read before the consultation. Be prepared. All you have to do is listen. It's very easy. It's actually very difficult, but uh, that's step number one. Listen. Number two, let them know that you understand and that you sympathize with them. So many people feel like they're alone in the problem that they have. And if you have had that specific problem, hey, let them know that your dog was like that. Like when people tell me their dog is being destructive or reactive, I mean, my main man Rush, and I think the case for a lot of dog trainers is your dog was an asshole. You learned how to fix it and it became contagious. You wanted to help other people and help other dogs. Well, my dogs, and I've had so many rescue dogs and even Vega who I raised as a puppy, there have been challenges and people need to know that yes, this is normal. It's okay. It's okay. You're not a bad person. You're not a bad person. This is, this is a normal thing that can happen. Number three, yes, you can help. You have to let them know that yes, in fact, you can help them with their problem or no, you can't help them with their problem. Confirm that yes, this is a solvable problem. Your dog pulling on leash, yes, we can fix it. Maybe even in a lesson or two. The amount of times that I finished a consultation and the person has said, so can, can you help me? I'm sitting there going, did you not just hear what I said for the past X amount of minutes? <laughs> yes, of course I can help you. But you have to confirm that yes, and you're gonna do this twice. You're gonna do it at this point. So you're gonna listen, you're gonna sympathize. Yes, there is a solution before you get into the pitch. And at the end, again, you're gonna repeat step number three, yes, this is, this is a solvable problem. Number four, you got to pitch your program now, but you do not want to paint such an exact picture that you confuse or overwhelm the person. What do I mean by this? If you are buying a ticket to go to Jamaica, they don't give you the description of the seat color and the, the, you know, what drinks are gonna be offered on the plane, and when you arrive, the exact temperature. It's too much information. Where are we going? Jamaica, it's hot, great. I'm gonna have fun, fantastic. Giddy up. You don't need more than that. So you don't need to get into, we're gonna teach place, and here's how we're gonna do it, and this is why it's important. You wanna get into the details a bit to say, this is roughly what it's gonna look like. So I let people know that it's gonna be a four to six week program. I charge for results, not week by week lessons or by the hour, which we'll get into more specifically in another video. But I'm letting them know that the result, the result of this training, provided that you do the work, is X, Y, and Z. We're gonna talk in another, another, another video as well about um, what it is that you're promising to the people so that way they get excited but they don't have false expectations. Now we're ready for number five. You've listened to them, you've confirmed that they can do it, you've pitched your program, you've sympathized with them, now it's time to ask for some money. If you don't actually ask them for money, they're going to go home and think about it. I am not a fan of this strategy. I've already explained to them what it's gonna take the program, all the things confirm that yes. I don't, what do you need to think? What do, you need, what do you need time to think for? You wanna ask for the money. How do you wanna pay 
for this program, provided that you want to work with the person, obviously, and they're not completely batshit crazy. But at the beginning, I think it's important to even work with the batshit crazy ones because you want to learn what it takes to motivate people. You want to learn what it takes to work with challenging dogs. You want to learn what it takes. You want that opportunity as a novice trainer to an extent, obviously. And this is where having a coach really helps to go, do I actually want to work with this kind of person? This is, watch the video of the consult. Very important um, to ask for the money. How do you want to pay for that? Cash, check, or I can take your credit card right now. I'm a huge fan of taking that payment via credit card right away. People get the points. You can pitch that as well. But if you don't ask for payment, most people aren't going to voluntarily give it to you. And then you're going to lose out on people that go home and dwell and and allow themselves to get confused again. There's so much more that we can get into with consultations like when and when, you wouldn't think, but when a time of day matters for a consultation, where and how and how you should dress and what to do when you're in their home and what to do, how to set it up when, you're, when they come to you, all those different things. We're gonna talk more about consultations. You can watch this video right now and learn a lot more about consults, being a better dog trainer, Know what you're loved? Proud of you. Keep it up. I'm you.